So it's summertime, that means there's a lot of extra zucchini rolling around. So what do you do with all that zucchini? We ferment it. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne. And Lori. And this is Healthy Farm Living. Yes. For those of you guys who have been following along on our farm channel on Edge of Nowhere Farm, you guys know that we are still working on getting this farm up and running, but we also know that a lot of you guys out there this time of year have a whole lot of zucchini and other squash and you don't know what to do with it all. <laughs> we wish we were in that same boat. Maybe next year that will be the case. But we did want to give you guys some ideas, or at least one idea in particular that you might not be thinking of. We want to bring you a healthy alternative mm -hmm. as far as how you can actually still eat it raw, technically. So what we have here is actually a finished batch of fermented zucchini. And we've actually been eating this for a while, have we not? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually really, really good. So obviously when you think of zucchini, for me, I usually think of cooked zucchini or raw, uh, maybe putting it on the grill. Mm -hmm. So grilled zucchini is very good. Uh, what's another way we like zucchini? Fried zucchini. <laughs> <laughs> Fried zucchini for sure. Maybe not the healthiest thing on the planet for you, but uh, it sure tastes good. It's good. But one of the things that we found was this recipe that we're going to be giving you guys today that actually is a very good way to have a healthy zucchini and also one that's going to store a little bit longer for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide out of the way and let Lori show you how this is made. First, I'm going to start with cutting up the zucchini. We do not have any zucchini in our garden, which we would much prefer. Um, so I just got this from the store, organic zucchini. And then you can cut it up however you would like. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of quarter it and then um, chop it. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and thinly slice up some of this red onion. I have uh, some ginger. We did already peel part of it. You can either grate it or I'm just gonna chop it up really small. And then four garlic cloves that this one is actually from our garden that we did this last winter. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those peeled and slightly smashed. For the ginger, I want about a teaspoon or so of, of grated ginger. And I'm just gonna, like I said, just kind of slice it up really small. For the garlic, I just kind of lightly smashed it just so it's easier to peel the peeling off. I have a quart size mason jar here. I'm gonna layer all the ingredients. We do have the little funnel type thing here to make it a little easier. I'll just kind of put in some of the zucchini, onions, garlic, ginger, and then just keep filling my jar. And then you do wanna leave about an inch to a half an inch to an inch headspace at the top. So I've got my jar full. I'm gonna go ahead and add some turmeric, quarter teaspoon of turmeric. And then for the brine, I'm gonna go ahead and use two cups of water with a tablespoon of sea salt. Just gonna make sure that that's dissolved in there. Go ahead and just add it to the jar here. Again, leaving about half an inch to an inch of headspace. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add a weight in here. Make sure everything stays down below the brine. Again, you wanna make sure you have about a half an inch to an inch of headspace. And then I'm gonna add my airlock. So we're gonna go ahead and just use the silicone airlock that goes under the mason jar ring. Um, and these and the weights are also in our Amazon shop as well. All right, so that is it. Uh, this now is going to go into our pantry, so it's a dark area um, out of sunlight. 
and it's going to ferment for seven to 10 days. We don't get below about 76, 78 degrees. And I think it took about a week. Yeah, we did us. about seven days, I think, on ours. So, and obviously, depending on the time of year, obviously it's summertime, that's when most of us have access to fresh zucchini from the garden. Or for us in Arizona, it's spring. Either way, it's warm. So if it's warmer in your house, the fermentation will go faster. Yes. And we definitely have found that to be the case with our wines, all of our fermentations. And we found that we prefer to do fermenting during the summertime when it is warmer in the house mm -hmm. because they tend to, to ferment well. Yes. Um, so watch that one. I would try it after about seven days, see what it tastes like. And then obviously you can gauge that it, from there as far as what you would need next time around. So this is what it looks like before. And then this is what it looks like after, or more importantly, this is what it looks like after. So now how would you describe those? Um, they look like pickles to me. They do look like pickles. Mm -hmm. I mean, and what's funny is you look at this and I know for me, overcooked zucchini or squash of any type is gross. Yeah, when it's mushy. Yeah, don't like it mushy. Doesn't have a good mouth feel, basically. While these look like they're that squishiness, they're actually not. Yeah, they're pretty firm. So it almost looks like it cooks it, but it's still firm like a pickle, yeah. actually. A lot like a pickle. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try these with you guys. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like a pickle. It does taste like a pickle. <laughs> so that's the key. Obviously, how much you ferment it will change the way it goes from kind of salty to more tart. Mm -hmm. So you get that tart saltiness, um, like a pickle, you know, so more kind of a vinegary type of taste, but it's fermented. We talked about this on the channel before when it comes to fermenting foods. As you can see, these are not cooked. So you keep all the benefits of raw zucchini. In addition, you actually have beneficial bacteria, mm -hmm. right? So probiotics. So you have that beneficial bacteria that's in this that you wouldn't have, say, in a pickle necessarily. Um, but it basically pickles it. You get that pickle, crisp, wonderful pickle taste. It's a little bit different from like a, a vinegary pickle, mm -hmm. but it does have kind of a vinegar taste mm -hmm. and very similar to a pickle. But you have the benefit of those probiotics. And you know some of the studies that I read when it comes to probiotics are just a slew of health benefits. We do know that digestion is probably key among those. So having a little bit of this with a meal it's the reason why it's so traditional to have fermented foods is there is something to that to help with digestion. Either way, it took us about a half an hour or so, I would say, to actually put all this together. Real time though, in that second one, what would you oh, say that took us? Five minutes. About five minutes. So that's washing the veggies, doing all that stuff, five to 10 minutes and seven days worth of sitting. Yeah. <laughs> and you have this wonderful fermented food. One last thing. This, once it's fermented at room temperature, you do want to seal it. We prefer to use these plastic lids. We found that a lot of times, because it, it can be very acidic, is you can get some rust on your metal. Yeah. Right? So going to a plastic lid for storage is really the best way that we found to go. And then of course you will want to refrigerate this. Now as far as how long this lasts, I have no idea. <laughs> We finish it too quick. Exactly, in our house it just doesn't last very long. Yeah. But I'm sure it will last several months in there. Uh, most times your fermented foods can. Either way, here in the middle of summer, extra zucchini laying around that you want to dump off on your neighbors, why don't you keep it yourself this time, turn it into one of these fermented zucchinis and you've got a wonderful, wonderful side dish to go with a summertime meal. Yeah. So just want to thank you guys for being here today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. You know, this is actually our secondary channel. Yes. <laughs> our primary channel is our farming channel. That's Edge of Nowhere Farm. That's obviously where we, our goal is to produce all of these healthy foods and then show you here on this channel how to make them. But definitely subscribe here to check that out. Share the content as well. If you know anybody that's interested in something like this, it really helps when you share the content. Our Amazon shop, we had mentioned that. If you check out our Amazon shop, you'll see a lot of the things that we used for making this particular ferment for you today are in that Amazon shop. Remember, if you start with the link down below, it doesn't matter what you buy, you help to support us here. So we just wanna thank you for joining us today and encourage you to be farm healthy. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne. And Lori. <laughs> <laughs> this is Dwayne and Lori. If I was thinking about fermented zucchini, I would think of a squishy, squeaky, kinda <laughs> nasty mess. <laughs> Is that what we got here? <laughs> and I'm gonna have Lori show you how this is made. You ready? You didn't tell me that. <laughs> now 
Now she's on the spot. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Don't, don't turn it on yet. <laughs> oh, my sweetheart. You're beautiful. Okay. What now? Is it on? Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just continue that with all of these and then we will Sorry. <laughs> Dude. That last part again. 